Hello, good morning and welcome to the Budget Mod Lab and my Hero Quest furniture and figure painting. So I'm going to be faffing around doing this, making a complete balls and ears crap of it. So let's get on with it, shall we? I'll go through what I've done so far because uh, I'm ahead of the game. So let's bring the camera down. Get some light on. There we go. And I will go through what I've done. So that's the bookcase so far. So I'm quite happy with that. There's some bits and pieces in there that still need painting. There's the other bookcase, as you can see. Table with some uh, paper on it. I'm not sure what I'm going to put on those yet, but I'm sure I'll think of something. And another table. So this just needs the brass knobs doing, brass candlesticks. And what I'll probably do is print out some uh, paper to go on there with old Gothic style writing and little pictures and stuff like that. So that's those bits. What else I've done? Oh, Mr. Marl is in. Hello, Steph. Hello, John. Hope you're well. Um, what else have I done? Fireplace. These have all been uh, painted and then dry brushed. The grey has been done in three different greys. Dark grey, medium grey, light grey. Uh, the wood has done, been done with wood and a lighter colour. Just to highlight it. There's the top of the sarcophagi. And another set of wooden things. So these all need their uh, metal work done. I'm, I've been looking at this and I've been thinking, something not quite right about it. The handles are on upside down. Why would you put handles on upside down? That's a hmm. Anyway, that's uh, something that they've done. Um, also got that partly done. So it's just metal work on this and these bits. So I'll probably do those. I'm not sure what color I'll do those yet, but I'm sure I'll work it out. But as I say, just make it up as you go along. It's the best thing to do. So you also get, uh, oh, pop that in there. The three of these chests, which are quite nice. So I'm going to be painting those with different edgings. So one black, one copper. No, one black, one gold, one silver. They're the colours I'm going to do. Also got Omri rack. A uh, couple of tables. A lot of this stuff just needs its iron working doing. Uh, so, as I said, you get the doors. You get five of those, and you get quite a few of these. So one, two, three, four, five. You get 16 of these and five of these. So again, this needs its metal work doing. But as you can see, the handle's the right way up on there and on there. So God knows what they were doing. So, yeah, that's what uh, I'm going to be doing this morning. So, let's, uh, the chair's finished. So that just needs a dark wash in it. So I'll do a dark umber wash on that one. And that'll be brass or gold. That'll probably be gold. This 
I'm going to do green and then I'll do this red and then we've got a feather there so that's going to be black in the middle put dark green around the outside because that's your ink pot yep so let me let's uh, crack on I have my wet palette which is awesome I love this thing dead cheap to make one pound for a box that's sealable that's a sponge and I use kitchen paper grease proof paper on top so this keeps everything nice and wet well not too wet but it certainly keeps it ready for what we need to do now I've got to find my gold no that's hemp where's my gold gone there's copper so that's one we're going to use metallic black which I'm also going to use aluminium going to use that one as well midstone dark earth light brown Oh, don't tell me I haven't got my gold out. I thought I got my gold out. I'm sure I got my gold out. There's all my green stuff. Oh, you great pillock. Oh, I know what I'm going to use. Is that? No, that's brass. I could have sworn I had my gold out. Obviously not. Let me have a look at this lot. I may even have to go to the shed. No wreath bone. Screw this. No, they're all my flesh colours. Celestial grey. Okay. So it's going black, gold, and silver. Oh, this is ridiculous. What an arse. I could have sworn I got everything ready. Right. Give me a few seconds. I'm just going to have to go to the shed. And go and get my gold so what are you up to mr marley drop that in the uh, comments let me know uh, i'm just going to put some uh, music on in the background for you there we go give me a few seconds there we go reading really typical isn't it left the gold in there so it's the gold so i'll either use the wet palette or no, i'm going to use the let's just square this up a bit there we go that's better i'm going to use my glass cutting mat as something for the gold because when you put the gold in there it doesn't work properly oh and that noise you can hear is my tattoo mixer not my modeling mixer my tattoo mixer 
if it was a modeling mixer, it cost me 85 quid. But because it's a tattoo one, it only cost me 30 quid. So 55 quid cheaper. That's how much we get the piss taken out of us. But they're modelers. Yeah. Also, remember, have a look at my uh, other videos, which show you how you can make your own glue. And also how you can make your own uh, thinners. Sanding sticks. All sorts. So, there are some uh, bits in here that need doing. Uh, there's silver. Wait. Uh, Miss Marley says, I've just started the Airfix 172nd Vulcan. First bit of photo H on already. I'm considering filming it and uploading it to YouTube. Pulling a couple of cameras out. We shall see. Why not? Go for it, mate. Do it. I find it quite cathartic doing this because uh, I, I tend to procrastinate on oh yeah I'll do this I'll do that I'll do the other I never actually do it I'm like well I think it's about time I started doing it the story behind this is my dearly beloved surprised me and went uh, it turned up, and I'm like, what's this? She went, well, I thought we'd get it, because she enjoys playing it. I enjoy playing it. So, we decided to get it. And, we've had it about two or three weeks. And last week, she turned around to me, and she says, you're not painted it yet. I'm like, Really? I had it two weeks. Yeah, man. But it's fine. Okay, let's get it painted. So I'm painting it. Let's try with a brush. It's looking very thin. Here at a couple of coats. Yeah, that is. You can see that. Can't pick into view. There you go. That's very. That, you, you can hardly see it on there. And just head. You can hardly see the gold on there. But, uh, this is probably going to need. Several coats. Okay, that's why I haven't uh, put this stuff in the wet palette because it thins it down straight away. I don't need it thinning. It's thin enough as it is. Just gets annoying because it's not thick enough. This is, yeah. Okay. Go around doing all the gold stuff and then come back to this one and give everything a second coat. So, what you all up to this Monday? And, yep, yeah, it is a Monday. So, oh, where are we? There we go. Show that. Uh, so, hello to everybody who's watching. Thanks for joining me. Uh, if you've got any questions you want to ask, chuck them in the comments. Uh, if they're about modelling, I won't have a clue. But seriously, don't know. If you want to ask me anything, please feel free to. Just remember, there's no such thing as a stupid question. Only stupid answers. Alright, 
Can you shake Dave? We'll just finish this little bit off and I'll, I'll put your comment up. True. Not Mr. Bitch. Come on, wake up. It is early. I'm like, oh my god, what the hell am I doing up this time? I'm all me up at this time. Right, so uh we've got Dave Skellion. Hello, Dave. How you doing? Morning stuff, painting figures. You're in my ballywack. <laughs> well, I'm just doing furniture at the moment. There you go. Have a look at some of these things. I love these videos. I don't know why, but I really like this one. Go on, kick in. Yeah, it's not. It's plain silly stuff. But I like this one. God knows what it's called. I'll find out in a bit. Um, so I've got these two as well. That one, I'm going to have some real fun with the colour shift. I'm not sure what colours I'm going to paint his wings yet, but they'll be definitely they'll definitely be colour shift paint. And you've got all the heroes as well. Yeah. Looking forward to paint. Really so hopefully I can get most of this furniture painted today. And then I can move on to the uh the figures tomorrow. Because uh just so you know, I am going to be doing this every morning this week. Why you ask? Because I need to get them painted. And this is the only way I will get them done. If I don't force myself and do something stupid like this, then I'll never get them done. They will take an age to do. Uh, quick question for you, Dave. Do you play uh, any board games? As in, uh, let's say, for example, this. Hero Quest. Uh, Walking Dead. Um, Doctor Who. Anything like that. Any of those bigger sort of board games. Uh, Mr. Marley says, I find the Vallejo metallics, metallics very thin, but with about five coats, they're hard to beat. Yeah. They are very thin, aren't they, mate? Uh, like you said. Give them a few coats, and they're fine. Get these coats right now. I don't want to do them too thick. But then I always get, I always say stuff like that. So, oh no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do thin layers. Yeah, da, 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 da. Then I just end up going slow and chucking so much down. So let's. Uh, that's another reason for doing this. Because if I say I'm going to do something, then I've got to do it. Because then people look at me, yeah, but you said you were going to do this stuff. Yes, I did, didn't I? And then you didn't. And it's like, oopsie. Just, just paint the bottle lid. But they are... The, the coat's really thin on this. I don't really like... doing too thin. No. Uh, Leaving it like that because it just doesn't look right. So using a decent size flat brush. There you can see that there. So a couple of comments. Right, Mr. Skelly says no, I don't play any board games, although I am working with a model club to reach out to the gaming community. I think we have a lot to share between the genres. Oh, there is, mate. Um I go to the RAF uh, Wargaming Association. Funny story about that, isn't it? Uh, twice a year to promote models for heroes to them. And they're brilliant. I have a, we go away for the whole weekend. The missus comes along as well. And it's she's really got into her board gaming. She really enjoys the weekend. I do as well. I've got into my board gaming as well. So it's not just her. It's both of us that have got into it. And it's absolutely great fun and the guys there are brilliant 
Uh, yeah, for funny. I say funny. It's not really that funny, but it's my sense of humour. And as two of the guys on here at the moment are uh, one's ex RAF and the other one's ex Royal Australian Air Force. Uh, I've got a similar sense of humour. And it's the RAF Wargaming Association. It's um, RAF WA. At is their email address. And they keep getting emails for the RAF Widows Association. Bless them. It is a bit of a giggle. But it's... Yeah. Anyway. That's my sense of humour. Weird and wonderful. All right. Um, bah, 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 bah. John Marley says, I'd like to play more board games, but my wife and kids avoid them every time I ask. All depends what uh, board games you offer them. Uh, Miss Marley also says, dinner's on, Steph. I'll check back later. Enjoy. Cool. Speak to you in a bit then, Mr. Marley. RFWA noted. I'll reach out. Yep. Um, they've got groups on Facebook. Um, yeah, just a brilliant bunch of guys. Uh, yeah, definitely reach out to them. So, what are you painting at the moment then, Dave? Nice. I've, I've now found where my focus spot is. Well, I thought I did. There we go. There's the focus spot. this without making an absolute mess of it. Probably do this with an emerald or something inside it. I probably need to touch it once I've done the base bit. Handles as well. These will all need washing as well. A nice wash on them. Also going to have to uh, refer to the cards in a bit just to see what's going on. So I'm Dave says I'm painting a smartly dressed Android 100 mil called AI Alpha from Arubaro Miniature. Ooh, I'm trying to do some OSL, like he's staring into a large fire he's started oh is that where the lights reflected back on them i can't remember what the osl stands for 
But yeah, I know what you mean, Dave. That that sounds like it's going to be quite smart. Do you post the pictures anywhere, Dave? So we can have a look. Nearly out of paint. Got some more paint on there. You can see it's slowly building up. <sighs> Need to do a check. See if there's anything else. On my little thing that has gold on it. I have to say the detail in these miniatures is brilliant. Absolutely love it. The only thing that really bugs me is the seam lines on it. <laughs> Being a modeler, seam, li seam lines bug me, but you get to that stage on something like this when you've got so much to do, it's just like, no, it's just too much aggro. It's enough having to. Uh, I don't mind that. It keeps her ladyship happy. Oh, she has a really nice game to play. We have a really nice game to play. And it keeps me busy. And it stops me sitting there and watching Pig and Telly all day. Because I would quite happily sit in this chair watching telly I know it's sad and I shouldn't do it but hey there we go so uh, there we go OSL object source lighting thought so I don't generally post my whips perhaps I should on a separate FB page not my social one um, are you part of Model Zeros Dave? Uh, pop them in there. Uh, and I'll be honest with you, mate. I had a big surprise the other day. Uh, my better half, she's a very, very talented singer and actress. Uh, she went through drama school and she worked with Helen Shapiro and oh what's his name uh, big bloke glasses comedian oh good lord anyway yeah she worked with those and several other people uh, on uh, just off West End Productions and she gave it up because she just didn't like the way it was. There's too many, too much bitchiness. She actually went to uh, drama school with uh, Amanda Abington. Abington? Abington? Abington. Uh, Martin Freeman's wife. She ended up marrying Martin Freeman in real life, as well as uh, on Sherlock. I, don't, I, don't, I digress. She was. Uh, doing a show, doing, uh, it wasn't a 
Carpenters Tribute Act. It was a tribute to the Carpenters. Uh, boy, is she good. She sounds just like Karen Carpenter. She's got the range from, she's a top sop, top soprano. And she had COVID last year. And all of a sudden, her bass range has come in, some, her bottom end range has come in, something wrong. She now goes from alto to top sop. And she's like, he, I'm dead happy. Anyway, uh, the guy who directed it um, would never have taken him as a model. Never in a million years. <laughs> Turned around to me and says, keep posting your model pictures. And I'm like, why? He says, I love them. I said, you joking? He went, nope, love them. I said, I'd love to do something. And he wants to do the Apollo rocket. And he also wants to do the Titanic. I said, well, fill your boots and do them. He said, I haven't got the time. Mm, okay. Yeah, that should be interesting. Uh, Mr. Skelly says, I'm not part of M4H, but I have thought I should get involved. Uh, my brain doesn't work very well these days, so I forgot to do stuff. Right, okay. While we're talking about it, let's jump on to Models Heroes. Luckily, I'm a uh, one of the admins there. Uh, I run all the, uh, run a lot of the uh, online video stuff. That we do on YouTube and stuff. So you can come and join us as well. So, right, invite, invite people. Oh, no, that's cool. Where are we? Let me find you, Dave. Right, there you go, Dave. I've just sent you a friend request. Oh, you live just down the road from me, then. Not too far away. So I've sent you a friend request. I accept that. And then I can invite you to Model Sphere as Modeler's Mouse. And you can pop your stuff in there and uh, say hello to all the guys in there and come and join us when we do shows online. Uh, we do the Monday, Wednesday, and Friday evening. They're private ones. Uh, the Monday and Wednesday ones are 12. So there'll be one today, uh, be about an hour or so after this show. Then the Friday one is at 8 o'clock. And the Sunday ones are from 9am, which are our, our most popular ones. God knows why people want to get up at 9 o'clock on a Sunday morning to watch four or five of us twat around. But then they probably jump on to see how much we're going to wind Malcolm up and how scared we can get Malcolm. Because he does get a little bit nervous when some of the guests of things come on. Uh, Dave's we met at the Brampton Model Show. Are you the guy with the fair hair? Okay, if you are, I remember exactly who you are. You were one of the guys in the red t-shirts. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, pop in there, pop on in the comments that you've accepted that friend's request, Dave, and I will chuck you in the Model Spheres group. That needs to go in there. 
so great. Where are they looking? No, need not. Oh, you pillock. Just put that into clean. And I actually need it. Oh, excuse me. Gob full of tea. Cheers. What I found the good thing about painting stuff like this is if you ever so slightly go over the edge, which I'm very good at, and I mean it's only just over the edge, when you put a wash on there and a, what we call in the um, power line wash, basically, it covers that issue, it covers that problem. There we go, that's done. Let's just put a... There we go. Still got to work out what colour I'm going to paint those bottles there. A little bit of green and a brown in there, but do I do them any other colours? If you can hear the click click, apologize about that. That's my chair. Of course, I can say Walker. Uh, Dave says, I have some hair about the same as you, I think, and a red t shirt. You and I were talking about your Shackleton video series, and Alec was being encouraged to donate kits to Model Heroes. Yes. I remember, I remember talking to you, Dave, yes. Anything on there, do you think it could be gold? Yeah, I'll do the tops. Oh, they need to be wood. I miss those. Oh, well done. Uh, let's start off with this one, shall we? So that can go in there. Right. I accused you of being a peanut. A peanut? The hell's a peanut? I didn't say peanut, did I? What's that? Remind me, Dave. Oh. Give me a sec. Need a bit of kitchen towel. Ah, uh, trade group 11, yes. Uh, 
Right, so. No, I'm not using that one. Oh, I got a thicker brush. Yep, that's better. So, let's do the edges of these boxes. If I hold this at a certain angle, you can see the gold going on. There you go. Ah, there you go. Yes, because you have the sparkling spider. Yeah, that's his uh, logo there. It's the fairy trade from uh, when they're at locking. Oh, Cosford. I've probably asked you before, Dave, what exactly was your trade? Because I should really remember. But I'm terrible. My memory is not what it used to be. Not sure whether that's because I don't want it to be, or... Can't be bothered, or some other weird and wonderful reason. Uh, edge painting here, be careful. Right, what can I use to hold? I know. Yes. Come on, grab her. Tooly, tooly, tool, tool. Not in there. Oh, there we go. And pray it doesn't pitching out. Because I would not be happy if it does. And it's not big enough. What am I going to hold that with? Okay, let's just use the fingers then. Gonna have to get the Hero Quest box out in a sec. <laughs> so we can have a look at those destructions. Oh. 
The eyes are starting to go. So I think those destructions are going to come out sooner rather than later. Give my eyes a rest. Some painting. So there's a first layer on this one. Ah, Trey Group 3. So, Almec TC. Uh, later in, I'll go to Airfields and Engetech EL. Ah, uh, ground based. So, you weren't actual, what we call a proper fairy. He'll <laughs> you, you, get mad with me for that one. You, were, you weren't an aircraft fairy. Should I say? That's probably like him saying that working on a flight line as an armourer, you weren't a proper armourer. Right. Yeah, that's first layer of gold on that. Right, I could feel my eyes doing silly things in, so. You, uh, what Aussies call Syscon? Go on then, what does Syscon stand for, Mr. Marley? And Dave says, I had a couple really good friends who were armourers. I say friend, I was more their community carer. Oh, yes, we do need somebody to look after us. Good old bit of community in the care for the armoured. All you've got to do is park us in the corner with a couple of crayons and we're happy as pits in poo. Oh, good lord. That's huge. S box. Oh, it's enormous. <laughs> No, that was too spicy. There's that. Go. This one has the cards. Here we go. Whoa. I was a little worried there. The rule books are all tucked away. So I've got the cards. No, I haven't got the cards. Yeah. Oh, good lord. Right, cards. Don't put 
them in the gold paint stuff because she won't be popular. Actually, first things first, let's just clean this paint up so I don't get any on the cards because I would be on trouble then. back to the gold in a second so let's have a look at these um mr kelly says uh at john marley i think that's right the americans called it 2e2 okay gem gem gold gold right well okay they're treasure cards let's there's those hero quest ones Put those there Okay, these are all the evil bad guys. Artifact, 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 artifact. Heck equipment, equipment. Oh, that's got a kill. Okay. Let's hope they give us a decent picture. Uh, Dread Warrior, he's a bit dark. Abomination, he's a bit dark. Oh, really, Gargoyle? Okay, Goblin's got some good colours. Mummy, hmm. Orc, okay, cool. Skelly Bob, oh, nice. And Zombie. Yeah, I've got lots of zombies to paint. Okay, so. Hmm, I might have to have a look at, because I want to do that one, different colours, because it's a bit, there's a lot of grey in here. And just because the nasty people doesn't mean they have to be boring, bland colours. So there's the bar bar. Dwarf. Rings on his fingers. Elf. Wizard. Okay, so all the heroes there are. Barbarian, Dwarf, Elf and Wizard. Ooh, I'm going to have to get an expansion pack. Because I know somewhere where I can get a a Bard. But it's getting his card. The Bard card. Because things are, you you can only play with four people then. So if I get the expansion pack, there's a few more that I can play with. So, yeah, I'll be getting some more bits and pieces to do that. Oh, there we go. John Marley, communication information system controller. Ah, Syscon. I was an AV tech, avionics technician. We don't call us fairies. We were queer traders. Until it became taboo, now we're white handers. What you mean they don't call you fairies anymore? I oh, know, PC gone bloody mad. You can't have a laugh or a joke with anybody anymore. Oh, can't say that. You might offend somebody. And he says, just to separate us from black handers, engines and airframes. Ah, oh, some pins and riggers. Some pins, riggers, fairies, plumbers. Grow bags. Let's uh, do layer number two for the gold. So I'll be doing this all week because I need to get all these done and also coming very very soon is oh let me have a look um yeah sorry about this I need to find it before I 
bring it up. There we go. Click, 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 and then click. There we go. 48 hour birthday bash. Oh, back on the 10th of March this year. James is uh, birthday bash. Celebrate the birthday of his page, which is the model officer. So, if you're not part of his page yet, jump on and join it. Uh, you get to see us all doing our 48 hour builds in aid of Models for Heroes, which is uh, something that is very, very close to my heart. And I'll be honest with you, a lot, along with my bird, and yes, I'm allowed to call her bird, she doesn't mind. So please don't get offended for her. She's very good at doing that herself. If I offend her, she tells me very, very quickly. Um, yeah, along with along with her, Models for Heroes has on more than one occasion saved my life. It has done. Being able to do what I do it's an absolute privilege being able to help other people who are in the same situation as me help them get out of that situation because once you're in it oh it's a pig to get out of it's not easy it's not something you can just click your fingers and you're out once you're in and also the mental stuff when you're in that you you don't recover yeah you just learn to deal with it and the only way to learn to deal with it is by going to see somebody um i did my counseling i did 18 months training as a counselor um at that point i suddenly realized I can't help people. As a counsellor, you're not allowed to. All you can do is say, well, go here, go there, do this, do that. Go and see this person, go and see that person. Because as a counsellor, you're not, you're not trained. So you can't, you are as a counsellor, but a counsellor can just sit there and listen. They cannot give you the tools you need to deal with your mental issues. And I just went, no, nah, sod that. It's, I can do more good doing what I do here uh, with Models for Heroes than I ever can as a counsellor. And I started my psychology degree because I wanted to get... This was before my volunteering for Models for Heroes took off. Um, I wanted to do my psychology degree so i could then become a therapist and help people um and i worked it out i will be 65 by the time i qualified as a therapist and that's over 10 years and it's 10 years that to be honest with it would have been wasted uh, because of how much good I can do now and how many people I can actually help which I'll be honest with you is much more satisfying and gratifying right so there we go I've gone off on one yeah so the birthday bash starts 1930 10th of March in your area there is loads going on you wait till Sunday you wait till you see what prizes we've got oh my god James has been daft enough sorry it's got confidence in me to organize the uh, auctions 
Oh, the prizes we've got, guys. You wait until you see them. They are amazing. Absolutely stunning. Um, I believe Mr. Marley's got some news as well uh, over that weekend. But I won't steal his thunder. Uh, Dave Skelly says, uh, what you say about mental health is true. Once you're made aware of your own mental state, you recognize it in others. Oh, hell yes. Oh, hell yes. It's like the old adage, set a thief to catch a thief. Send somebody mental to catch somebody mental. <laughs> uh, John Marley, here, here, Steph. And I can get away with saying that because I am. I'm officially mental. I've got a letter that says I'm mental. Uh, Dave says, I also recognize the signs of when I'm spy. Oh, I don't know about if, don't know about you, Dave, but my missus spots the signs before I do. She will go, you're spiraling, piss off and do some modeling. Oh, it's great because she tells me to clear off and do it. It's also great because I got her involved in modeling too. She loves doing her models. She does uh, these sort of, they are, aren't quite doll's houses. It's called them doll's rooms. That's uh, a better idea. So let's uh, just check these, make sure there's nothing here that needs uh, another layer. Yeah, let's give these another layer. There we go. Yep. Always forget the edges. I know if I'm not careful, she'll say, oh, you missed that bit there. Was I meant to be saying something? Because I can't remember. I got sidetracked. He, as per usual. I'm always getting sidetracked. Right, so... What I'm going to do now is uh, wood bits. I know I just meant to do some. Yes, that was it. Right, so let's get my favourite stuff out. My Vallejo wood grain. Love this stuff. Uh, Dave Skelly says, my wife crochets. She's brilliant at it. Yeah, my wife does... That's that's awesome. My missus does uh, cross stitch as well, but she also does these called box theatres. So these are what got her into modelling. She does all the electricery herself. I don't touch it. It's no, it's weird, weird stuff, weird things. Don't do electricery. Scary stuff, that is. So, now I've got a card with weapons on it. I can use that as a reference. I should really got some pictures off Tinterweb for this. So I'm just going to use this to touch up all the wooden parts on there that I've missed. I do like this. Dave says, that's amazing. Thank you, Dave. It's very kind of you. You should be very happy to hear that. I'm just going to paint the whole of this. There we go. Is that one done?
and the inside as well because it's all wood Right, we need to sort out all the wooden panels. That one's okay. I don't need to do in because uh black strap later. No bloody in the way. There we go, there's that done. So there's those sorted. <laughs> Probably missed some brown somewhere. Right, what time we got? Okay. Ten past ten. Still early yet. Right. Gentlemen, I am going to take a quick five minutes. Um, I'm going for a cigarette. I just need to stretch my legs as well. So remember when you're modelling, always take a quick break. Keeps you recharged, keeps you uh, attentive to the model, and it stops you uh, seizing up, breaking, and all sorts of things. Uh, go and grab yourself a cuppa, have a chill, uh, have a smoke if you smoke. And just generally have a a chill out. It's always good to have a break. As I say, have a break, have a Kit Kat. No, they're not paying me for that. I wish they were. So go and grab yourselves a drink, guys, and I will see you back in five. Tell you what I need, I need some tap dancing mice to go in here. Oh, that's an idea. I might get an overlay here, some tap dancing mice. Just so nobody gets bored.
thank you very much for your patience guys I use back a little wonder so got those done got that done that's finished that needs a wash that's finished that needs a wash so pop those back where they belong that so we're going to do the black so what I'm talking about is the metallic black so I'm going to do this one metallic black can pop over there. they can go over there so I'm going to do all the architect architecture on this metallic black Around the edge, metallic black, chains, all the metal bits on here, I'm going to do them metallic black. And then that, that, and all the rest of that black, so then they'll be finished. That'll be finished, and it'll just need a, uh, a wash to sort it out, so... Give the bottle a good old vibrate. Sort this out. So I've got big bellied fine brush, which comes to a nice point. you can see there okay that's starting to curl that's going to need a trim there's a problem with nylon brushes they tend to bend don't get me wrong these brushes are really nice brushes but they bend so easily Remember, don't rush it, just, I'd rather do a couple of fine coats than one thick one and completely screw it. Yep, this early morning weekly th binge one, binge modelling, I'll be doing quite a few things. This is the first one, and it's just to get me finishing models. I'm terrible for not finishing them. That I'd be doing kits trying to make them in a week see if I can doubt it very much but one can try it'd be nice just to do this and make a kit and do it, well, do it once a month And if I can uh, 
find a kit that you've got and you want to join in, I'll advertise it sort of two weeks before and say, right, I'm going to be building this kit. If you want to join in and make the same kit at the same time as me, then please feel free to. Or if you've got a suggestion of a kit you'd like to see me build, in that that's not too difficult that is buildable and paintable anybody suggest mini art i cannot be held responsible for my response because you know what they're like if you can mold it in one piece they'll make it into seven How's that done? It's quite nice. So that'll need another layer. Oh, I've nicked the edges already. So there's that one done. Because what I'll also probably be doing is I'll be doing some of this off camera as well. So the furniture that I don't finish today, I'll probably be doing this afternoon and this evening while the good lady's out. And I have to move everything back into the shed because it's now got warm. And... Our front room is not that big. It's a very, very tiny house. I do try and keep them to single brush strokes. It stops brush marks appearing. Remember guys, please feel free to ask me anything or make comments. Bit of an interaction is always good for the brain. Okay, there's those two done. I'll definitely be using my uh, talent in the bottle rust. On these.
Uh, Dave says, uh, budget model, have you tried painting non-metal metals? No. Uh, honestly, I really don't see the point when I have metallic paints. Uh, I've seen people do it, and it's like, wow, that, that's a talent. But personally, I don't see the point of doing it. But yeah, it's... That is a hell of a talent to have to be able to do that. It's not something that I've really ever tried. I really do have to keep remembering. To keep this in frame because I'm terrible for that. Even when I do my videos, it's like... Uh, Sometimes it's way out of frame. So have you tried them, Dave? And if you have, how have you got on with them? Or should I say, how have you got on with doing it? Have you managed any decent results? I suppose is what I'm really asking. That's very close to that grey, that metallic. Oh, you can see it on camera. See the difference. You're certainly going to have to go around this and look for touch-ups on here. Because it's cemented the blooming things. Just the uh, knob ends to do, and there it is. Tell it black. Right. Give me a second, and Dave's made another comment. Uh, he says, I've tried uh, non metallic metals. Uh, with varying degrees of success, it's all about practice and being subtle with the transitions. 
It's great for helping to set mood and tone of a piece. Yeah, I bet it is. I think the hardest part I have with painting figures and furniture, etc., etc., is, as you say, transitions. Um, I find going from Especially, um, just trying to think of the wording. When I do figures, when I do uh, flesh tones, there you go. There's a prime example. Going from one colour to another, I find getting the transition between the two colours really, really hard. And it's a little bit frustrating, but as you say, everything in this hobby is all about practice. Yes, you need some a modicum of talent. Um, if you haven't got a little bit of talent, you will never get to a big... I say a big, no. You'll never get to a really, really good standard. You'll get to an average okay standard but you do need some talent to get up to people like uh, scale it on plasmo night shift the usual bunch of reprobates I think one of the worst things that happen me personally how I feel is night shift stop showing his mistakes i used to enjoy watching that because he showed all his mistakes he says, look i make mistakes this is my cock ups yada 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 that is why i will never ever take my cock ups out i make so many mess ups and screw ups and lose parts and all sorts as you all know i'm really good at losing parts um and these guys need to show their cock-ups. And it's like people coming into it, look at what they're doing and go, oh, look, I can do that. No, you can't. What they're doing takes years of practice. Um, I think that's why I'm also doing this one. These, because it will give me so much practice in the space of a week of doing that sort of stuff that it's going to help me oh i just realized there's a hand there Okay, that's going to be interesting, painting that. There's a hand just in there. So I'm going to work out uh, doing that. So, uh, Dave also says uh, NMM is better suited to figures and planes and tanks, I feel, where you're detail dealing with large flat surfaces. Yeah. He says, yeah, I too struggle with transitions in flesh. Faces make or break a figure. Yeah, they do. And I always break my figures because they look bloody awful. That's why half the time I just use uh, my cheeky way of doing it. If you have a look at the uh, Wind Up Wings build I did of the sub with Dolphin, you'll see how I did the figure there. It was just a zenithal highlight. 
And then, uh, once I've done the Zenith highlight, a couple of thin coats of khaki on on the figure, and that was it done. No fanning around or messing around. Let's get this bloody thing done. And I found that's quite a nice, easy way of doing things. And it looks good. It does what I need it to do. Oh, good Lord. I've gone over on the metallics. Oh, let's redo that brown. Yeah, I've gone a bit too far. I'm getting too keen and eager. I need to slow down a bit. Uh, should give me enough to for the box. Uh, Dave says uh, I follow Rick Lawler propaganda. He does show his mistakes. He also shows how he corrects them. All right, cool. It's always good to know that there is somebody out there who actually does that. And it's not just me. <laughs> As I was saying, that they'll watch it and go, I can do that. And no, you can't. And then they get despondent and they come out of the hobby. Because I think half the problem is, it's not just that. It's the fact that you've got so much instant gratification these days. That everybody wants it there and then on a plate. And with this hobby, hobby it ain't going to happen. There is no way you will get instant results. You have to work at it. And if you don't work at it, you ain't going to get the results. And because people expect that instant gratification, they will leave the hobby. And it's a shame. But if they come in and you explain to them, yes, you can do this, but you need to work at it. You need to practice, practice, and then practice some more. There is no such thing as a perfect build. You will never, ever do a perfect build. It just isn't possible. There will always be one small mistake. Whether it's a slip of the brush, and it's really, really tiny mistake, or it's a huge mistake like losing a rudder. There will always be mistakes in your model building. Which means you will never ever get it perfect. Which, don't get me wrong, it's something to aim for, perfection, but don't expect it. Yeah, it's not just brush marks, but it is things like um, when you're gluing, you will glue a bit in the wrong place 
or you will get a little bit of glue on the model and leave a fingerprint which you're then going to have to tidy up or you will cloud your canopy or something like that yeah so you've got to be prepared to make mistakes yeah if you don't make mistakes you're not going to learn you can watch other people's YouTube channels and watch them make mistakes and learn from their mistakes, which is wisdom. Or you can go out and make your mistakes, which is experience. But either way, mistakes will be made. How are we doing for time? 22. Okay, I'm going to give it another 20 minutes. Hopefully get the architecture on the other cabinet done. Then that gives me an hour to get ready for model series. So if you're in the group and you want to jump on the show, join us. Uh, you can find all the details in Models Heroes. As I said, if you accept that friendship request I've sent you, Dave, and I will uh, add you to the group. And you can join us if you'd like. <laughs> there you go. I just made a mistake. Got two keen and eager and painted in the corner there. Rather than just nice gentle strokes. As they say, kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. And there we have that box done. I really like that. That's come out really nice. Happy with that one. And then we'll end up with this one. So get a little bit of water on there. So, uh, ah, hello, Ed. There will always be someone to point out your mistakes. Morning, Steph. Oh, God, yes. And I'm always the one to point it out. Well, I'd like to be, because I own my mistakes. Done. I now know where you live. Peanut, eh? Ha <laughs> ha. Cool. Right, let's go into there. And up to the top. Click that button. Click that button. There we go. Invitation, invitation sent. Um, do, 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 members. So if you accept that invitation, uh, it may ask you to fill a few questions in. If you could do that, that would be brilliant, mate. Yeah, now you know what I mean when I say you live down the road from me.
God, what's going on? This is the quietest I've been all show. I know what Edward's turned up, so I'm just shutting up now. It's a nasty mistake. That was a hell of a lot of paint went down on the wood. Right, there we go. There's that done. So a nice wash on there and I'll bring everything out. It's already been dry brushed, so yeah, I'm quite happy with how that one's come out. And then we've got the uh treasure chest. The stretchy jobby. I've still got to do the arm, which is just, just that. <laughs> Table. Oh, that could do with a bit of a, a second layer. Good, you take this paint. <laughs> there we go. That looks better. I do like the sheen you get on this paint. It's a bit like uh, a pencil. When you uh, colour something in with a pencil on something like this, you get that really nice sheen. But not on that, you know. <laughs> There we go, there's that done, and I'll tell you what, I'm going, I've still got 10 minutes. Paint the outside of this one.
Uh, Mr. Molly says I'm still here, but my tongue's sticking out under my Optivisor. Yeah, I'm, my tongue's sticking out. Uh, he says I've been lurking since about 9.30 on the TV. YouTube still had you as upcoming and not live. Oh, okay. Never knew dolls' houses had dungeons. Uh, ask Lisa about that. I surely cannot comment. <sighs> Can you shake your hands now? Not that bloody shaky, because I just did that in a wire. <sighs> Bot mentioned he's doing, so let's get this one done as well. Right, tomorrow I want to do this. If you want me to put the camera a bit closer, just pop it in the comments and let me know. Is this position all right for you? Can you see all right? Can you see what I'm doing okay? If not, let me know and I will change the camera position for tomorrow. Uh, Dave says, on your metals, try thin washes with different colour inks, e.g. a corner close to the fire may have a yellow reflection. Oh, yeah. Thing is, though, with these, I can't put reflections on them because they will be in various different places. So one day it can be in a dark corner. The next day it could be next to the fire. So putting stuff like that on these is not a good idea because then it just means that wherever they go, they're going to have to be in a certain place. So I'm going to have this thing metallic black. I'm going to have a whole lot metallic black. The reason for that is because I think it will be metallic black.
there's all the dark stuff on there done so it's just grips and hilts and badges so i think one gold one silver or shall i do them actually i'm gonna do one of them arctic blue which is metallic blue from the left oh. so it's one of the black one no it's not that one not that one no that's a wash doxy gray metallic rust there we go arctic blue love that color the 71071 fantastic car uh, uh edward says frankly there's a limit as to how close you get your camera before it gets in your way yeah i think mine will probably be about that close so yeah that's just gives me but the thing is that I've, it blocks the light then and the light is coming this way and it means this side's in shadow which is harder to work with so i'll have to figure that out i'll, I'll be back in the shed tomorrow anyway because i'm being turfed out of the house i'm not allowed to film in the house anymore so yeah right um just turn that off and then flip the camera over so we did oh i don't know why i did that because i need to show you what i've done there's the altar with the gold candles just need to do the flames and a wash on there make everything sit out I've done two of those bookcases I've done that gold one which has come out really nicely and I've done that black metal one and before you ask no I haven't painted the bottom and on that table so I've got to check it out but I think I'm going to paint that a green beige colour two tables the rack so I need to do the arm and those two bits of cloth on that and this sort of chest of drawers with the upside down handles don't ask me why. Ask somebody who Games Workshop why they did those handlers upside down. Be interesting to see if you look. Cause I've been looking at it and nobody else has said anything about them. But there you go. So that's what we've got finished. Um, I've still got one more chest to do. I've got the fireplace to do. I think I might just just going to leave those as wood. Just got to end those pieces and do the flame and then i've got to do five of these doors with the handles and all the architecture on it and then everything's ready for a wash and put a little picture of me and the missus in there gonna look so cute and then once i've got that lot done i can move on to the figures so hopefully um we can move on to the figures tomorrow. Let me just turn that light out so I don't get... There we go. John says, they're coming up well, Steph. The colours are great. Thank you, mate. I will put some pictures up when I finish them. Uh, so you can all see what a complete pig's ear of a job I've done. That's for normal. Just got to keep it sensible. And yeah, I'm quite happy with how it's coming out so far. Uh, John Marley says, I reckon handles are right way up. You're holding it upside down. Where is it? Yeah. You might just be right, Mr. Marley. That doesn't look right. Give me a sec. It's... Uh, 
Come on back. Yeah. Doesn't look right that way up though. Probably because I'm used to seeing a shield that way. Yeah, it is. So I need to paint that. Hehe. <laughs> but look, I was wondering why the number was on there. So obviously that is the bottom. So that's the right way up. Thank you very much, Mr. Marley. See, another cock up I've made. I'm dead good at those. So, yeah. Nice spot. John! Uh, Edward says, uh, going to a one weird honey, I shrunk the family episode. <laughs> yeah. Right. Thanks very much for watching, folks. Really appreciate your time. And you all take care. And if you're coming along to the Model Heroes Monday lunchtime one, we'll be there in about 50 minutes or so. Um, now I've now got to go and do a GTT. Because you bet your bottom dollar John hasn't got one. So remember, folks, stay safe, keep modelling, and I will see you later. Bye!